you've probably seen some of the science fiction kinds of movies in which the science fiction author tried to grapple with the idea that when you are out in space, there's very little gravity and things will float around inside of a spaceship. One of the more clever ideas for how to create an artificial gravity is to actually make your spaceship spin. In other words, have it each point on the rim move around with some speed b. If your spaceship is very large, maybe it has a radius r, then there's an acceleration. Every point on the rim of the spaceship is accelerating back toward the center of the, of the ring. Because we learned that uniform, even circular, uniform circular motion where the speed is constant still involves an acceleration because the velocity vector is changing as you go around with circular motion. So if you are sitting out here on the rim of the spaceship, you will feel a push from the floor of the spaceship back toward the center of the circle because you're being kept in a circular motion. So if we assume that the radius of the ship had a value capital R, which is on the order of 100 meters, so it's like a, a little bit bigger than a football field in, their, in radius, and we wanted to create an artificial gravity of 3 meters per second squared on board, how fast would this speed have to be? 3 meters per second squared, by the way, is not all that much. It's about a third, a little bit less, of the gravity here on Earth. Well, we're saying that the acceleration, which has to be v squared over r, is going to equal 3 meters per second squared, and we would like to know v. So the, the velocity or the speed at the rim has to equal the square root of the acceleration we want times the radius of curvature. If we put in 3 meters per second squared and a radius of 100 meters, Notice that I'll have meters times meters, which is meters squared, divided by seconds squared, and it's all inside of the square root. So the answer I will get here, it does have the correct units, it has the value or the units of meters per second. We'll have approximately the square root of 300 here, or about 170 meters per second. Excuse me, 17 meters per second. Or a velocity of approximately 17 meters per second. How big is that? I mean, it seems like very fast compared to a typical car. But let's compare it to the entire circumference of this ring. In other words, how many times does a person sitting out there in that big giant spaceship actually have to go be flung all the way around one full circle, or how fast does the spaceship uh, spin back on itself again? Remember that the circumference. is 2 pi r. The time to revolve around once will equal this circumference I have the velocity. So this is 2 times pi is approximately 6 times that 100 meter radius. That would be 600 meters divided by 17. This says 
that the entire spaceship will move around one full circumference or one back on itself every 35 seconds or so, which is incredibly fast. It means this giant structure whose radius is about a football field, a little bit more in a radius, has to whip all the way around in just over a half a minute. So it's a very fast moving object in order to just create this weak field of about three meters per second squared. 